What are the chances of a second civil war? According to a new Rasmussen poll, quite a few Americans believe it's not only possible, but that it's imminent. While the question may seem silly to ask, the results do suggest a deepening divide on our own turf, perhaps exacerbated with an election right around the corner. 41% of registered voters believe it's likely we see Civil War II within the next five years. 49% don't believe a civil war will happen within that time frame. 10% weren't sure. So it's fairly even split of Americans believing the country's current differences will turn into conflict in the next few years. Of those who believe a civil war is likely, 37% say a civil war is most likely to happen if Biden is reelected. 25% believe it's more likely if Trump gets a second term. The poll was conducted just as a Civil War movie hit theaters, sparking a lot of buzz over what a domestic war would even look like 150 years since the first one. 19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. There has always been split opinions over major issues in the country, but the partisan divide has severely deepened over the past decade. Take the issue over gun laws. In 2003, 41% of Republicans said the law should be stricter compared to 70% Democrats. Fast forward 20 years, both parties have taken more polarized stances. 31% of Republicans don't want more gun restrictions, while 84% of Democrats do, hence a deeper divide. Another issue, global warming. 20 years ago, it was 41% Republicans saying we should be somewhat concerned compared to 70% Democrats. Now, as you can see, there's fewer Republicans and a lot more Democrats concerned about climate change. Today, nearly 60% of Democrats believe abortion should be legal under any circumstance compared to 12% of Republicans. 20 years ago, the party split was far less apart. And one last example, 20 years ago, more Democrats than Republicans believed the federal government had too much power. Now, that hasn't only switched, but a whopping 73% of Republicans believe the government is too big compared to 31% of Democrats. A country with largely two political ideologies and a lot less middle ground to stand on. Will the pendulum swing again to where the differences in opinion won't be so polarized? Or will they just further split? And if so, could it really lead to another civil war? I'm Kara Rucker. For more content like this, visit san.com.